Hello everyone, my name is Doublebit. In this video you're about to see, it's part three. Sorry for the long wait. I know in the last video I said that I would uh, try to get to it the next week if I was feeling froggy, but a few things have come up. I was able to actually get insulation for free, and I was able to go through and insulate up the shed, make it a lot more of a creature comfort, if you will, for the coming winter time as well as to finish out the summer. Got an AC unit put in there, a couple other uh, creature comforts and accoutrements, you could say. So that kind of deviated as well as I got sick. I'm uh, over it now, but there's a little bit of a grumble in the back of my throat, so if you can hear that a little bit, my apologies. Anyway, in today's film, we're going to go through and show you the finalization of the sanding of the axe handle, as well as the going through and ornating of the handle itself, as well as we did some stain work upon it. So stay tuned and hopefully you enjoy the film. It took a little bit extra time, but hopefully it was worth the wait. Thank you very much.
hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make, as well as the last two. But if there's any inquiries about the edge of the axe, I made sure to leave it a little bit dull for the main reason that I knew I was going to be going through and doing a lot of uh, leather work and keeping it pretty close. I didn't want to sever the femoral artery or cause any other issues or cut anything else. I mean, this clothing is expensive, but anyway. So I went through and put on a nice piece of leather, as you saw in the film, and it was uh, really a lot more of a pain than I thought it would be going through and getting that lace on there, but I'm really happy with the end result. I didn't go quite up to the top just because I felt each time that I was going to cut and set something there, unless I used some kind of glue or epoxy, it wasn't going to set straight and it would kind of just keep thinning out. And I didn't really enjoy that thought too much. The wedge could have been a little bit thicker, but it's that time old issue that I've seen in a lot of different YouTube videos and talking to different people with hung axes where if you get the actual handle a little too thin and make the wedge too big you can split it and kind of figuring out that ratio I know there's some different tried and true methods but I went for a little bit on the more thin side just since it was my first like in front of a camera hanging of an axe and full technical hanging of an axe this is my first time in that regard but it was a lot of fun really enjoyed it and other than this I'll probably pull it out on occasion and use it but more than likely this is just going to remain the symbol of the shop and the first project that got me going so it's going to hang on the wall more than likely more than in use i'll still pull it out and have to chop something with it because it's an axe and i'm a guy so anyway <laughs> moving on moving on i went through and had a lot of fun getting everything kind of fitted up to it i wanted it to look like something that got passed down like an heirloom so that way it went through the family i originally stained it really deep and i was actually very happy that the uh, handle is very thirsty wood so it actually kind of faded out into a lot more of a blonde look but I'm enjoying the indexing on it and the principal idea behind the double bit was to have one edge for trimming and one edge for splitting essentially so I was happy to be able to kind of keep tried and true with that even though indexing is more fit to go one direction than the other but I figured for all of your technical cuts you're gonna to want to index nice versus your splitting mall you can just kind of use the mid part the midriff and uh, go through that way. The uh, Woggle or uh, Turk's Head was enjoyable to make. I was happy to kind of match up, not match up with the leather contrast there. But so far as I know, this is everything I'm going to do. I'm going to put a final edge on it, or actually I'll probably see if I can get a friend of mine to go through and put a nice edge on this. He's an absolute master when it comes to sharpening anything. The man has sharpened toothpicks to the point that they've drawn blood. So I want to get him on it to see if he can actually go through and put a nice edge on it for me. Because I can get something that's a good working edge, a good farm edge, but I know it can be sharper, and I feel I should do that justice to the axe. But anyway, after a long outro, here is the axe in its finality, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed all the films up to this point. We're going to continue on with this. Got a couple other ones we were actually able to film going through with the shed and some other projects you'll get to see around. So stay, stay tuned for the channel. This is the opener. So hopefully this was a good pilot to keep you keep you coming back and keep you hooked. But uh, thank you very much for your time and for your subscriptions. For friends and family and everyone that's been viewing this, thank you so much. Had a lot of inspiration to go through and finish out and continue on. And I wouldn't be able to do that without a good network of friends and family. So thank you all so very much for your time and dedication and forthcomingness with me. And staying along with this endeavor. So thank you very much. Have yourselves a good evening. Enjoy this film and enjoy all the rest of them on the wonders of YouTube and uh, hope to see you back here. Thank you very much. Hope you like and subscribe and ring the bell if you enjoy it so far. Have a good night.